This is my grocery haul for today. It's the last grocery haul of the year. And I found some pretty good deals, and I'm getting ready for a low spend month coming up in January. So we'll start that next week. So this is the last big haul, and it's not even really all that big. So let's just get started over here. The Bird's Eye Steam Fresh Broccoli Cuts is a 10.8 ounce bag. Um, I got four of those. Those were on Manager Special for 99 cents each and then they had their pick sweet frozen vegetables a limit of four on sale this week for 88 cents it's on the two-day sale so I got one turnip greens one mustard greens and two of the broccoli florets cauliflower and carrots mix so that was a good deal and then they had now this is the south, so for New Year's Day we have black eyed peas and cabbage. So I got two cans of black eyed peas. I can't have them because the carbs are really high, but my daughter can have them. So I got her two cans. So these were 79 cents each. The cabbage was 59 cents a pound and it ended up being, uh, looks like $1.66. I got my two favorite seasonings. I got the soul food seasoning salt and the garlic and pepper seasoning salt. The soul food seasoning salt is 119 and the garlic and pepper is 159. And then my daughter needed a loaf of bread. She likes the whole wheat, so I just got the store brand and it was 179 for a loaf of that. And then I found some reduced meat. So we have this package, two and a half pounds of ground beef for $4.99. And another one, the two look like two and three quarters pound for uh, $5.47. And then these patties, let's see if I can get to see. I like these patties, the way they're laid out on the, on the wax paper. And so... That's $5.35. And then they had their baby back ribs for $2.28 a pound. And it's two and three quarters pound for $6.39. $6.34, sorry. So these I had to go back in and get because I forgot them. So I'll get to those in a second. But here's my receipt on all this other. And with tax was $40.06. Now these were $2.98 each, so I got four of those. I got two of the jalapeno and cheddar and two of the pepper jack and green onion, $2.98 each. And that receipt right here, so a total of $12.75 with tax. Last week, groceries came out of Christmas because it was all Christmas stuff, so no budget for last week, but this week, my two Ramey's receipts total $52.81. I take that from what I had left before, $65.36. And that leaves me $12.55, so we come out positive. This is my last menu plan for this year. Tonight, December 28th, we're going to have burger bowls with those markdown burger patties I got. And I'm going to do a mashed cauliflower, but I'm going to cook it in my Instant Pot. I've got a whole head of cauliflower that I had picked up for Christmas that I have not used, so I still have it. So, I looked for a recipe, and I'll link this in the description box below. But I looked for a recipe so that I didn't have to do anything but cut those leaves and the stem off of the bottom. I, sh I thought, well, I should be able to do the whole thing in the Instant Pot without having to slice it up. So, I found this recipe, and I'm going to try it, And because i got to use up that cauliflower that I got before it goes bad. Sunday, December 29th, I'm going to use those ribs that I picked up this morning, and I'm going to make Instant Pot ribs. I've made it before. I cook them in the Instant Pot. It doesn't take long. And then I broil them in my Instant Vortex air fryer. Make them crispy on the outside. They're really good. 
and I've got well let me go back see here on the burger bowls I've got lettuce left over I, I did a taco bar at Christmas time so I need to use up that lettuce so we're, that we're gonna have lettuce there and we'll try to finish up the last of the lettuce here with a side salad so that'll get rid of all the lettuce I've got and so just trying to use up without having to throw out on Monday December 30th I'm just gonna do a quick dinner it's my week to stay late at work so this whole thing right here comes together in about 15 minutes so I'll just do a pan seared tilapia with green beans Tuesday December 31st end of the year like I just said I have to stay late therefore we have to do end of the year at work so I have no clue what time I'll get home from work that night so while this day it may be 5 30 this day it may be more like 8 I don't know it's gonna be late so I'm just gonna do a, a tomato soup with truffles that'll be quick and easy I do the tomato soup over here in my in, in this this thing it's not a, it's not just a blender it also cooks so we just throw the tomatoes and everything in there and cook it and it'll blend it nice and smooth on Wednesday January 1st 2020 uh, I'm just gonna do some meatloaf muffins I'm gonna divide up all that ground beef that I got into separate uh, freezer bags and I'll use one of them to make meatloaf muffins just meatloaf mix put in muffin tin instead of a you know meatloaf shape it cooks quicker and I'm gonna do the cook the cabbage New Year's Day so we got to have cabbage and black-eyed peas so my daughter can have the black-eyed peas but we'll both have the fried cabbage it's you know it's a southern thing and uh, I'm gonna try I don't have a recipe for this I'm gonna have to come up with it myself and try to recreate my grandmother's Mexican cornbread she used to do she also used a muffin tin like like the meatloaf muffins she used a muffin tin to make her Mexican cornbread so I'm gonna try to see if I can come up with a keto version of my Nana's Mexican cornbread so we'll see if that turns out or if it's a flop I don't know all right back to work on Thursday January 2nd um, I'm just gonna do this Cajun let me see it's this recipe is gonna be in the Southern Keto cookbook by Natasha Newton that the Cajun sausage and rice we've had this before it's really good it's just with cauliflower rice and I've got plenty of that in the freezer so and then just Friday January 3rd will be leftovers well there's the last menu plan for the year hang on just a second and I'll be right back well there is my last grocery haul for this year and that's my last menu plan for this year um i'll be doing really soon this weekend i'll be filming it uh, and i'll upload it as soon as i can but i'm gonna do uh kind of take an inventory of everything i've got everything i've got in the um freezers i've got a side-by-side -side refrigerator here in my kitchen and its freezer is full I've got a second refrigerator in my garage its freezer is full and then I have a deep freezer that's also full so I should have plenty to get us through a low spin January and um, I may even see about going into a low spin February I don't know we'll just have to wait and see how January goes but I need to take inventory I've got and I've also got two pantries um, I've got my regular pantry that's kind of built into my kitchen cabinets and then I've got a separate freestanding pantry I've had that thing for years um, got it when my first apartment when there was no linen closet and we bought that so that I'd have somewhere to put my towels and it's just been a variety of things over the years at one point it held VHS tapes so but now it is a secondary pantry with things like um, just overflow from the regular pantry. Things like snacks and my daughter has her own cabinet with her rice and stuff like that. But I'll be taking inventory of all of that to see what I've got to get us through January. And I think we're good. I think we're in good shape. Probably we'll only need to get fresh items, like fresh produce, things like that. But 
Uh, lots of videos coming up. Be watching for them. See y'all later. Bye.